Welcome back to Ace of Vegas, my spinners and sharks. Ace here today, and I'm delivering my first solo trip report. Now, why would you go to Vegas solo compared to going with a friend, spouse, or family member? Well, the long explanation is for another video, but in short, it gives you a chance to rediscover Vegas and all it has to offer at your own pace. And I think I made some pretty good rediscoveries myself. So, let's get started. It's the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. I decided to take southwest to Vegas today. Two free bags meant I could pack all my recording equipment, aside from batteries for the camera, of course. I checked in at the Mirage and tried the $20 trick, which got me into a resort tower king room. And then moving on to the main room here. Got ourselves a king size bed, perfect for one person. I spent some time at the Mirage Breakfast Buffet. Food was okay, but the beer was spot on as usual. Baiting and uh, cheers to brunch, guys. The tables were a little tight around the Mirage, but I did pretty great at video poker. Very good use of my $25 free play from my Konami, if you ask me. My solo trip seems to be very food focused, so I spent a lot of time critiquing the restaurants. The still was a great place to hang out while I was waiting on housekeeping and check-in. Also a great pre-game spot for Zumanity, which was quite the show. More on that in another video. The Mirage Pool area is still among my favorites. A bit smaller than I remember, but the adults only pool was very easy to access, the area is easy to navigate, and it houses the Paradise Cafe. Which by the way has some of the most amazing potato cakes I've ever had. Melt in your mouth delicious like um. Wrapping up the trip, I made sure I got to see the other users of the pool, the dolphins at Siegfried and Roy's Dolphin Habitat and Secret Garden. The garden itself is nice, though the heat and time of day meant that most of the cats were asleep in the shade. Now that I could blame them, all I wanted to do was the same thing, but the dolphins were calling. The dolphins are easily the coolest part of the zoo and the pool area. They do shows every half hour or so, and readmission is allowed throughout the day until 5pm. And of course, no trip to Vegas is complete without a trip to the Bellagio Fountains. The show is strong as always, and even added some additional flair with new lights and a smoke discharger that wasn't there last time I was there in September. Mirage was a very comfortable place to stay with a top-notch location. My few gripes, if any, is that the casino floor staff could have been friendlier, and so could security. Mild gripes aside, I'd recommend Mirage for a budget-friendly solo trip. 4 out of 5 stars.